Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch my VR Integrator How-To Series. In this video, we're going to talk about child actors, a new feature that just came out for VR Integrator. So what are child actors? Well, basically something that's been requested a lot is how to actually pull out some of the functionality that's within the uh, VR Integrator itself. So uh, the motion controllers that we see here is uh, basically everything put in, the hands, the, uh, the, the uh, teleporter, the uh, laser pointer, they're all built into this pond. Well, what if you're game has an existing pawn and set up in motion controller. Let's just pull out the pieces we want. Well, now we can do that. It's called child actors. There's a new folder here. If you looked at it, we can pull out the radial menu. Uh, we can pull out the, the smooth laser and we can pull out the uh, Jedi hands left and right. Now the smooth laser is actually, um, contains the teleporter also and all of its uh, options. So let's go ahead and go over an example of how to set that up. If you go to blueprints, I have provided an example of how to, use that child actor in each one of those setups. So here we have uh, motion controller modular Jedi hands left and modular Jedi hands right. And we also have MC modular radial for this radial menu and then MC module smooth laser. So let's go ahead and open up that one. And basically the main things we want to do is we want to add a brand new child actor up here. We go up here and hit child actor. We add that into it, and then you see it pops up here. We click on that here, and then we set the class that we want, which is our CA Smooth Laser. Then once we set that up, uh, we come over here to begin play. We want to go ahead and build a pointer to that object itself, the store. And then once we have that, we want to initialize. And uh, we run its initialize function. We pass in the hand that it is, uh, the base pawn that the player will be using. So we need to make sure that whatever pawn that your game uses, um, if it's not a, a, a VR base pawn for the integrator, it's whatever pawn the player uses while it's in your game, you need to go ahead and uh, pass that actor in here. And then also the motion controller. So basically this motion controller needs to be passed in here so that we can keep things synced up for haptic feedback and all the other features that require those uh, variables. And then the next thing is you can go ahead and set your options. Uh, right now, uh, an example here is uh, we'll go ahead and, and say this one can use the laser pointer and it can use a teleport. We can also say, hey, we don't want a laser pointer on this one. It won't even uh, use that code or we just we just want the laser pointer and no teleport. We can sit there and turn that on and off. And then uh, we have a global activation. So we just say activate and then this uh, will actually turn on and start running the uh, laser pointer or the, or the teleport code if you have it turned on. And these can be toggled real time to turn off laser pointer real time and also teleport real time. Uh, some other options you can do with the, um, um, you can set in here would be under, uh, let's go ahead and go to child actor, smooth laser. And you'll see under uh, options right here, you'll see that we have uh, can teleport, can laser. We also can say, can it select actors with laser pointer and can uh, it rotate the selected actors. So there's a lot of options you can set after the fact. So this is all about main options you can set after the uh, child actor has been spawned. And then if you go and look at the other example, such as the radio menu one, you can see how that also works. Uh, it's very similar. They all pretty much start the same way. We have, uh, we spawn it. We have the radio menu uh, that we cast to it, store it, and then we hit the initialize by passing in the parent pawn and also what actors we need to um, ignore for the teleporter. So like this window's all, we want to uh, ignore all windows when we teleport. Uh, and then the last thing we need to do is we need to pass in the information of the trigger from the VR pawn. So we need to pass that down. Hey, this, this uh, has been triggered. So this is on pointer key pressed. The uh, trigger has been released on pointer key release. That tells you when the uh, uh, radio menu will actually select. And the same thing over on the child actor for the smooth laser. Uh, we need to pass the inputs down to it also. If you go to the event graph and look at the, um, oh, sorry. The, Yes, the MMC modular, we'll see that it's also uh, passed through. We have the trigger and we go ahead and pass the on trigger press and on trigger release. And the same thing for any other inputs that you might need. The one last thing that we need to do for the modular smooth laser setup, the other information that, that it needs is the um, thumb stick up axis and the thumb stick right axis. So you need to pass that down from your, your uh, VR pawn setup. So that's the information it needs to keep updating where the uh, thumbstick is. Uh, the reason why it needs to be done this way is only one object can take control of the input stack. So if I sit there and force this controller to be, hey, take over input, it'll take away input from the, the other objects. So you need to have your, mat, uh, your master object, in this case would be the, the VR pawn, uh, 
slash player controller to handle inputs going in and out of uh, the input stack. So anyways, that's the, uh, the quick summary on how to use the new child actors. Uh, again, I do provide examples on how to use these. If you go ahead and look at um, the demo map that's with the comes with it. You click on it, go to the new VR states over here. You can see that we do spawn in expand all. Uh, the normal stuff before animated pointer, we have the UI plus pointer and then Jedi hands left and, and right. Then we have a, another example of the hybrid MC modular Jedi hands left and right. You can see how that works and uh, try out the different options. Uh, so if you have any problems or questions, please leave a comment below and thanks for watching. Bye.